Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to create this little image with a sort of zoom in effect. It's a bit of a, a Ken Burns type effect but not quite but it's quite subtle. If I take this down to the bottom when this young lady pops up you're going to see as she goes up the screen she's sort of zooming in a little bit. And that is almost like a Ken Burns type effect as we go down she's going to zoom out a little bit now these are using uh, Divi scroll effects that they introduced last year and they're fantastic and they're really easy to use so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder once enabled let's go down to where we want to work I've got a big old gap at the top there purely because it gives us a bit of scrolling room so I've got a row with two columns in it. Let's put an image in our second column here. If we go down, there's the image module. Divi is standard, comes with all these modules. If you've got WooCommerce installed, you get an extra dozen or so to help sell your WooCommerce products. So let's add our image module. And there it is. Now we'll pop in an image. I guess I'll use a different one this time. Uh, there's our little fellow right there and as you can see at the moment it's just a regular image as we go up it stays where it is now to make it do what we're doing with this one on the left here we need to use our scroll effects okay to make this image do the same we need to go over to our advanced tab down to our scroll effects you'll find them down here and there's all kind of different ones there's vertical motion there's horizontal motion fading in and out, scrolling up and down, which is the one we're using today, rotating and blurring. I'm going to use the scaling up and down. So I'm going to click that, hit the little switch to enable scaling up and down. Now to make this work, if we look at this image here, we want to start off as normal size. And as we scroll up, we want it to grow. And as you can see now I've enabled it on the other one right here it's actually doing it but it's set to 70% which is smaller than the original obviously 100% would be same size as the original and it's ending up at 100% now for our effect today I'm going to start at 100% this is at the bottom of the screen it's going to start off viewport bottom bottom of the screen it's going to start off at 100% just put in the 100 it'll put in the percent for you then I'm going to sort of increment up and the more wild you want it to look make the gaps bigger so I'm going to sort of do 110 and then sort of 120 like I say if you want to make it wilder and even more make it sort of 100 115 130 or however whatever works for you basically play with it to get what you want now if we scroll down you can see our little fella is growing he's sort of growing at the same rate as that lady there but we've got one slight problem here is that this guy is sort of spilling out of his column if I go up more you see how wide he is now compared to her so to get rid of that problem all we need to do is go into our column and enable overflow hidden overflow with something if you've got an element like our column in the background overflow is when whatever's in it tries to break out of it which is what this this image is doing right now so let's save our image we'll go into our column into the row there it's our second column and what I want to do if I put this up here so you can see is I want to go over to advanced to visibility and here you're going to see horizontal overflow that's if you want to stop something overflowing left and right we'll select hidden and if we want to change overflow for vertical top and bottom do the same thing which we do so I'm gonna say hidden there there we go now when we scroll this fella up and down he should still grow 
but he's staying within his column. So let's save our changes and see what we've got here. And exit the Visual Builder. Let's go down and take a look. Now when I scroll these guys up, you'll see that guy scaling up and it's not spilling out of the column. With two of them scaling, it's kind of hard to concentrate on one. I'll make his effect a little bit bigger just to emphasize this. But subtle is usually better with some of these effects. We'll go back in. And let's go back over to our advance, to our scroll effects. Scrolling up and down. Let's change this to 115. Let's change this to 130. That'll make it a little bit more pronounced. And let's just take this young lady away so we can concentrate on this one. Let's save our changes and exit the visual builder. Right, let's scroll him up. And there we are. I'll do it with a slider. It'll be a bit smoother. As you can see, as he moves down, he shrinks. As he moves up, he's subtly growing there. So there you have it. There's how to use your scroll effects to make an image grow. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.